Slate 45, take one. As filmmaking trainee program It's My Shout begins a summer of shooting, we go behind the scenes of Tuesday at Jackie's. First, how did these aspiring filmmakers approach the complexities of lighting? Well, the trick is to gain access to the BBC's Publicum Studios. Yeah, so we're going for some low-key lighting. Um, we've got a few different light sources that are kind of integral to the set already. Um, we've got these, you know, this zebra crossing over here. Uh, we've also got some street lamps. Uh, and then also, what with it being, you know, a ready-made set, you've got uh, a rail running across where the door to the flat is, uh, which gives us options of rigging up lights there. Uh, uh, are you happy for me to...? Having to shoot the main diner sequence in the Publicum bar helped resolve one of the team's creative dilemmas. So, uh, yeah, originally we had this uh, major idea where we were going to get a Pulp Fiction sort of cafe sort of thing, American diner, big, huge, neon everywhere. We had that on one side and on the other side we had like the idea that the place would be a run-down pub converted into a, a, a sort of American diner. So, with a ready-made set to hand, it was a no-brainer. They went with a converted pub idea. <laughs> Professional lighting yeah. technician Robin has worked on shows like Doctor Who and found the production's limited lighting setup, well, let's just say, stimulating. Um, I think. It's, you know, if you're looking for Doctor Who lighting effects, then you go to a Doctor Who studio. Um, trying to work within this sort of environment, you've always got limitations. You know, you've always got to work with what's around, what's available to you. Um, not big, you know, money involved, so it's always a compromise. It's just make it work, make it happen. You've got bounce light, so you set basically phone light off there, back in. It's uh, gone really well. Um, it's been really fun um, experiencing all the kind of the atmosphere and everything. Um, it's been really great learning from Robin, who's the lighting mentor. Um, he's got a lot of knowledge to pass on, so it's been really good learning all that. The street lights coming in here into the door, I can see so. With everything set up and under control, director Alex can explore the creative possibilities of lighting effects. Basically, this is a stylized approach to the real world and imagined world of this uh, short film. So it would be quite fun Sweet. to. Um, yeah, basically use dramatic lighting cues to kind of transition between the two worlds. Turn over! I wouldn't have worried. Yeah, well, he's not exactly, um, oh, what's his name now? K K Casanova? Christian Grey. Mm. And spotlighting um, the ex-girlfriends just to, yeah, add some style and to make the film stand out. Later, we obviously, we're going to be shooting outside. Um, very much sort of a totally different light and effect. Um, you know, we've got to mimic the fact of you got moon, you got street lights. Um, we're not doing a huge amount of sh shots outside, and they do seem to be, inverted commas, relatively easy ones, so we'll s wait and see. Having the Publicum back lot available meant they could make the most of the film's exterior scenes. So the third act of the film, on the doorstep outside, that was really the premise of the whole film. Actually, Claire, I just wanted to say I had a really good time tonight. It started with them walking down a street and it ended with the, the cut ends now. But I think three night shoots outside, uh, you know, in the harsh Welsh weather, maybe wasn't as appealing to most. At quarter to one in the morning, yeah. how is producer Lamal yeah. feeling? Terrible. <laughs> They're doing a lot better than I am, but no, I think the, the energy's still up at, at the moment. You can feel it's dropping a little bit, but uh, hopefully if that kind of problem will just get in and wake everyone up. As filming comes to an end for It's My Shout's first production of the summer, the crew celebrate a successful three days of filming at the BBC Studios and on location in Caerphilly. And for some, who knows? the beginning of a career in the film industry.